Point Pleasant, West Virginia. This small town of some 4,000 souls would be as ordinary as any Appalachian town, except for its monster. The legend began in the 1960s. The town was rife with rumors about a flying creature with glowing red eyes. I was about 13 or 14. We didn't hear anything about this so-called Mothman till the very day that the first eyewitness at school started telling it. Faye Laporte grew up in Point Pleasant, dirt poor and one of 14 kids. A family outing to check out the rumors at the TNT bunkers bonded them in a way they never expected. My brother took us to a movie, and after the movie, we went directly up there, because he was going to go find it. He was going to go up there and catch that thing and prove that it was some guys in a costume. Myself, I wasn't worried about really seeing anything, because I really didn't believe in it either. As they drove, the weather turned chilly the sky dark, with only the moon to guide their way. We were driving down the drag strip to the TNT bunkers, and my brother kept looking over towards me. And then he turned back, and then he'd look over at me again. I said, well, what are you looking at? He said, well, don't look, but there's something there beside the car. Don't look. So I turned and looked, he told me not to. Don't look. And there it was right beside the window, flying right beside the car. What is that? Get out of here! Go! Everything was just haywire. And my two brothers back there bawling and screaming and carrying on, and my sister was back there hovering over them, kind of like hiding them. This was one time in our life that I can say we were scared. Then the car came to a screeching halt. That's when they met Mothman. And that thing jumped on the hood of the car and was just looking at me. We were just more or less immobilized. And the whole time, all you could focus on was its eyes, and they were just so red. It was just beyond any red you could ever find. But when it jumped up, that's when I saw it. It opened up its wings just like an angel. They were that big. They were look. They looked like a bird's wings. And they just unfolded, and it just went over them bushes and into the night and was gone. Encountering the dark-winged creature known as Mothman had made believers out of the Laporte family. 